city of dreams, what it feel like the city of get it by any means. Looking off from my balcony, got a bit of the alchemy, got a beat in my alchemy, might as touch, make it golden. Fashion got me going, drive like it was stolen. Vision, make it off of me, not live in the moment. But I see the sun setting while the waves crash down. Got me living for a second, right here, right now. Then the stars come out and the city shakes up. And the light's so bright, feel like we just woke up. And the drinks start blowing and the crew's all here. Future feeling brighter than the streets round here. Cruising through the same roads from my eyes still. I remember dreaming of a life like this House in the hills for the weak type bliss This is what happens when you give money to grown up kids You know we just living life how we want to And we gon' live it up cause we never got to If you need a little light, swear the Cali sun got you Swear I'm way too high off the of LA vibes There's a glass to the life that we're living one time
All right, everybody. Welcome to day two install. We're gonna do day three for the second hour. But day two install, uh, basically the equivalent of like a spring, modified spring fall camp, something that didn't get happening this year. Uh, I am your host, Big Game with uh, Big Game Gaming. But today, today, it's all about Coach Big Game and New Mexico State Aggies. If you haven't been here before, we started this on Monday and we put in a day one install just like coaches do when they do fall camp. You just don't give the whole playbook, but let's go ahead, go into our dynasty. We haven't played the game yet. We've set up our recruiting board. We're playing Texas State next. Our, really, we should be playing UCLA, uh, but I was able. Reinforcements have arrived. Thank you very much for the host, the auto host, Stupendous. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're here to see a little bit as we go into what it takes to coach football and uh, kind of those things. If you're wondering why I talk about coaching football and what qualifications I have, I coached for almost a decade. Uh, I even coached at the small college level. I have a few rings. I even luckily was part of some great teams that won some championships. So what we did on Monday is we put in day one and I kind of went over plays about what the reads are and what you got to live with if you're teaching your quarterbacks things and today we're going to build upon that okay we only put in so many plays and now we're going to take the next step with the playbook and take it to the next level okay uh, I do have people that are going to be walking around so at times I may have to go mute myself for a second uh, bear with me uh, also bear with me if I have to hide the camera but just know I'm here I'm gonna keep working with you guys and uh, our schedule if you look at our schedule okay our schedule actually matches very very close so let's take a look at our schedule okay it matches extremely close to what the real schedule is for New Mexico State in fact I have more buys than New Mexico State really has in their life only ones that are different are Old Dominion and Eastern Michigan. Everything else uh, are teams that are on the roster, uh, on the schedule, except for FCS Southeast because they didn't have a Texas Southern. Now the old NCAA didn't just have all the FCS schools. That's gone away. Which they didn't bring, bring that back. But you know, hold on. Hold on just a second, guys. Hopefully you guys are able to hear me pretty good. Let me turn this up a little bit. Okay, so that is the schedule that we've got set up. Uh, so our first game this week is Texas State. Sorry about that. So because our game is Texas State on Saturday, we may play the game actually at that time, which is 12 p.m. on Saturday. So we're kind of I'm kind of debating about making it like each week, waiting until Saturday to play the games so that it's kind of part of the whole process. Like, hey, it's game day, and we do all that stuff. So let me know what you guys think about that as we go along. Sage, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome. Hopefully, you uh, I can share some some information with you. So this is the schedule. Like I said, Eastern Michigan and Old Dominion are the only ones that are not actually on New Mexico State's schedule this year. Um, and give me just a second. Like I said, I've got things that are going on behind me. Real quick. Give me just one moment. Sorry about that. It's always one of these fun things when you're not in the office in, in your stream. All right, so let's take a look at my roster and you guys can kind of see what my roster looks like. It's not great. 
This is gonna be rough. Now this roster is based, someone has take, gone through and created a whole roster based on the team that is in the game. Or the current real life roster. So like I, like I mentioned last time, Jonah Johnson, he is from California. He is a junior college transfer. Right now it's gonna be a battle between Jonah and Weston for the starting job, okay? Uh, and the reason is because of this, and I'll show you why. Uh, the throwing power and throwing accuracy is a little bit, excuse me. Hi King, hey Sage. Sorry guys, I'm doing this in a uh, uh, at home so I've got all this stuff going on behind me. So if I mute myself a time from time to time, I apologize. <laughs> College football, that's right. So it's a battle between Jonah Johnson and Weston Eggett. These are the two actual quarterbacks going on. Uh, like I said, Jonah is an actual junior college transfer going into New Mexico State this coming season. But if you look at the throwing power, throwing accuracy, I'm kind of limited, okay? So I'm a little nervous. So it's a battle between these two. We're going to run through these two running plays tonight, and we're going to decide who's going to be the starting quarterback. Oh, Mari Samuels is going to have to be one of our big playmakers as a running back. Notice his speed, strength. He's my best running back. There are technically no fullbacks on the team. I've looked at the roster online. There will be practice. You'll get to see practice. I'm going to go over the plays, the breakdown of the plays. I'm tempted to make each Saturday be game day, just like real college football. So as we go along, it's like, hey, it's game day, you know, do, 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 and, and, and do things like that. But we can, we can adjust it. I'm willing to adjust it to however you guys want to. Uh, but I have decided to kind of do this first week this way just on purpose, just to kind of show you guys how coaches actually install stuff. No hell let loose tonight. No, I thought I'd take a break. I do have a lot of wideouts, man. And that is a lot of wideouts that are on the roster. <laughs> but notice, I don't really have any speed, speedsters, right? Like I have no burners. <laughs> Exactly, man. No tight ends either. So I have no tight ends. Um, I got some guys that are, I mean, I got 6'3", dude. 5'11", Robert Downs. 6'2". I don't have like a super. I, my tallest guy is right, where is he? 6'5". I just run right by him. Caleb Mills. But his speed is 73. Uh, we'll find ways to get people open. Okay? And we'll, we'll adjust. That's why, now you know why I'm only going 20 and 10, because I don't have a tight end either. I don't have no tight ends. So no, it's no tight ends, guys. Okay? So my offense officially is like 67 in the whole thing. <laughs> so let's look at the rules. Some of you weren't here last week, so we'll show on Monday. So we'll show, look at the rules. Okay? So we're on Heisman mode, which is the toughest. I have it set to where my quarterback... I need a speed. I need a speedster everywhere, King. I need speed everywhere. It's gonna be a rough couple years, guys. If we can win five games this year, I'm gonna be a happy camper. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So here's the custom AI I'm running with. We can adjust this if it's becoming too difficult. So with this, my QB accuracy really is a part of it. King, appreciate the host. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So at five. You'll see it during practice, like the guy's right old, wide open and I'm going to miss him because my quarterback's accuracy, both of them, is lacking. But they're my two best quarterback options, okay? So thought I'd give myself a little bit of challenge. If I'm controlling the character, I've got to make the catch. I've got to push wide to make the catch. So it'll be a little bit of a challenge. Decided to give myself a little bit of a challenge, okay? So first things first, let me show you. Yeah, we're not going undefeated, I'm going to tell you right now. Um, I got I got UCLA on the board and I got to go to Florida. So okay. So day one. Um, so day one we put in split slot and spread. We're now gonna build on that. <laughs> Sage, we're gonna go like every forty seconds. We're gonna run the clock down. Like our our possessions are gonna be like four minutes, <laughs> five minute tries trying to wear take the ball. So. On Monday, we put in 20 and 10 personnel. So split slot and spread. We put in zone read and inside zone for split slot and then spread. We put in 
uh, single back power and zone read. Today we're going to put in triple option out of the split slot, which is 20 personnel, which is a two back formation. And then in spread, we're going to go ahead and put uh, running back sweep. Exactly. Running back sweep, running back counter. Okay. Well, and here's the thing. My defense is the best part of this team. The more time I can keep them off of the field, the better chance they have to at least do something. Okay. Um, uh, we're not playing the Wisconsin Badgers this year. That'll be a while. Okay. Then we're also adding in some drop back passes. So we're going to run shakers. And I'll show what shakers are. Um, the defensive playmakers are my defensive tackle and linebacker. Okay. Even my corners aren't very fast. The corners and safeties aren't very fast. I mean, I am telling you, we do not have a lot of top end speed. This is going to be a rebuild project that's going to take way. It's going to take a few years. Oh, yeah. I mean, if we can get five games, we can start building. But even my even my board doesn't have a ton of speed. But there's better players that I've got to bring in. So I've redshirted dudes and all that stuff. Um, so drop back pass, we're going to put in shakers and white cross. And we're going to go over that. And then in spread, I put in the four vert play, uh, corner strike, uh, Y cross, and then play action flood. Okay. So let's go ahead, go right into practice so you guys can kind of see what those plays look like. Actually, let me show you what, look at, look at what it says right on the week one. Yawn. A pair of cellar dwellers go at it to open 2013. Now that's actually 2020. I can't change it to say it says 2020 unless I simulate it all the way then. But then, you know, I'd probably be fired from the Aggies if I don't have any control. Um, so let's go ahead and go to practice though. Okay. Oh, wait, sorry. I meant to show you more information when I do that. <laughs> well, that's what it's going to be. If you look at my overall rating of my team is a D plus, which is like 67. My offense rating is D. I think we're like a 65. And then the defensive rating is a 70, so a C minus. So obviously, Texas State is being picked to beat us. Um, yeah, give me a second. Sorry. Good call out. Thanks, Sage. That's the first time I've it's the first time I really use this stuff and I forget sometimes that I've got it. Thank you though. Okay, but if you look at the history of New Mexico State, and let's go ahead and take a look here. This is what New Mexico State has done. They've gone to three bowl games. So if we can take this team to multiple bowl games, we'll have done our job. We'll be go down as like legends at New Mexico State. Okay. This is the actual head coach. Um, his name is Doug Martin. That is the actual head coach there. Uh, and then I added my one skill level, which uh, makes it so my team doesn't get tired as fast. All right, let's go to practice. We'll take a look at the play. Second hour, we're going to put in day three stuff, which is going to be uh, trips formation. Okay, so let's get right into it. Our defense should be kicking our booty. And I, I'm going to kind of go break down how, what the read should be. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a tough. This is going to be the toughest one I've ever done, guys. Woo! Woo! Got to get myself all fired up here. Okay. 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 So, let's go ahead. We'll go first with split slot. Okay. Yeah, better rating, the better the team. So, I got to get that upgraded. Okay, we're going to run. So we got Y, it's cross Y, weak flood, but it's actually Y cross. Okay, it's the Y cr cross Y flood, Y cross flood, play action flood, you can see there. And then we've got triple option and shakes. So let's go shakes first. Okay, so shakes, we're going to run the nickel formation, two, four, five. We're going to run random play. <laughs> so what shakes is, is shakes. It's basically a version of being able to run a smash concept. So you notice my outside receivers are going to break in at about four yards. They're going to break vertical and then break out on a corner. Okay. My two backs are going to go to the flat. Basically, this is a way to run a smash concept instead of the outside receivers running a curl and then having, not, not curl, sorry, a hook. No. God dang, I have so many people that, I have people that, I've had change in my brain so much. Okay. We're going to call it a, a, a curl. Okay. Actually, it's a hook. 
Five yard hook. Okay. Five yard hitch. Sorry, it's a hitch step. It's a hitch. Five yard hitch. Five yard hitch, and then having the slot receiver like Downs run a corner, we're going to have the two outside guys doing it. So if I've got better receivers out there, they're a great matchup. Okay. Now, if you notice, the safety's down. So there's one high safety. I'm anticipating blitz here. All right. So I'll take the blitz, throw it. And as you can see, my quarterback is great. My quarterback was great at throwing that. That's the right read. Quarterback doesn't throw it right. Okay. If the stay, safety stays high and they stay too high safety, I may have a chance to hit downs. Problem is, is my quarterback going to be accurate? Exactly. This is why I say it's going to be a little bit difficult. All right. There we go. And we can get five yards. I'm telling you, this is going to be so rough. Okay. So now there's two high safeties. Okay, this is a great attack on the two high safeties because of Downs being able to go post. So let's take a break. Let's go. One, two, three. No one takes the back again. And we'll just do that. Okay? If we can take five, six yards of cap pop, we're going to take it. Okay? One, two, three. Now that's a bad read by the quarterback, which is me. Okay? Why? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why was that a bad read? Because I held on to the ball too long and I didn't read the correct flat guy. Okay? Hook the curl. And that's a bad ball too. Tanya, this is going to be tough. That, that ball should have, been, should have been in there. This is going to be real rough, as you can tell. Okay? Now, if I could throw a ball accurately... Might have a chance to downs. Why did I throw that one? Because it was too high and it stayed too high. And because it was too high, I could hit the middle of the field. That's called middle of the field open, mofo. But as you could tell, we didn't even have a chance. Lay that out over the top in man-to-man -man coverage. Catch. Okay? If we can do those and get some big plays, I'm gonna I'll be happy with it. So notice, okay, so let's go back and look at this play and see why I threw to the back. Because it wasn't a hot route, okay? So it wasn't a hot route. But notice this backer is staying back. He's undercutting that, that shaker route. So I'm going to throw to the flat, and I'll get eight to nine yards. <laughs> My first pass might actually be a screenplay, okay? So there's that. Let's change plays up real quick, okay? Okay, so hold on a second here. So we'll go split slot. Okay, let's go Y cross flood. All right. Formation, we'll stay in nickel, but this time we're going to run the 155, and this formation is going to mess up my line. Okay. This is going to totally mess up my line. Okay, they're not going to know who's coming from where. Come on. <laughs> I didn't even put it that hard out there. Uh, as you can tell, my blocking on the line is going to be amazing this year, too. <laughs> I'm not even pushing it that hard, guys. I'm, like, trying to float it and stuff. That's a pick because I floated it. That is not a screen pass. This is just the backs immediately out to the flat. Okay? He's attacking the flat. And what I should be doing is looking at him. And I should be hitting that guy if I feel. Yes. There's going to be a lot of getting rid of the ball quick. So, you can tell that it's going to be a very difficult season for me. And that is it. Nope. That's not it. There's no high. Yeah. We can make a miss by spinning and doing stuff. And doing that. So our back is going to have to be an integral part of this offense. One, two, three. So the reason that's a bad ball as well is accuracy. So this play may not be run that much. Unless I want to just throw it quick to the back. So I may have to remove this play out of the playbook. Honestly. 
Holy crap, guys. Look at this. This is embarrassing. I'm not even changing anything. Back out here. <laughs> well, what it is. So the read should be my Y, which is Samuel's. If they drop to the flats to cover it, then I've got downs on the over route. However, because we can't really throw the over route, we're kind of whatever. Now, with their guys up this close, I am not going to do a drop back pass. In reality, what I'm going to do is I'm going to audible to a quick slant, okay? And then I'll just throw it out to the back and let him go get me nine yards, okay? Tried to pop it over the top on the post, and that's not going to work. So I may remove this play because I don't know that our quarterback can throw that at all. And I don't like it that way. And I'm not thinking I'm liking it with him. The shakers, uh, we can at least live with. Yes. And the problem is I've, I've turned down the help from the computer with that. Okay? So let's go triple option. Okay? We'll run the triple option. Okay. Let's talk about the triple option. Yeah, it's going to be real rough. So in the game it shows it. Usually it's the uh, end man line of scrimmage, which would be this backer. It's really a backer. It's 2 four, five. So it's a backer. And then I got my pitch key that's over downs. If the backer steps up, I'm going to give the ball to the running back. I'm going to give it to Price, who's going to hit the line. Okay, So I've got five blocking five. If he chases, I'm going to pull it. Okay, and then I've got I've got to do what a lot of people don't realize is when you're running the option, you got to attack the pitch guy. That's the guy over downs. I got to make that guy make a decision: is he taking the quarterback or is he taking the back? If I try to keep running it wide, trying to get outside of him and run away from him, all I'm doing is stretching out the play. When I coached and I was on the defensive side of the ball, we loved it if a quarterback would kind of stretch out the play. Because then that allows one player to cover two dudes. Okay? So let's go ahead and run it. He's going to come. And I fumble the ball on the first play. Okay? Awesome. This is going to be rough. I'm telling you. So then he gets it. Reed tells him to hand it. And we're going to live with that. That's a one yard gain. Yeah. <laughs> right? So there he takes it. Takes it with. Makes him take my pitch guy. Then we're just going to head downfield. Going to hit that hole. And we can do that. Yeah. No, well, I got to really practice with this style of it. Okay. So notice the back was uh, safety had walked down. Okay. The safety had walked down. So now I got a guy who's walked right in. Okay. He's in the box. I can still attack this, okay? Okay, if I can do that, we may be a running team a lot this season, okay? I don't know why I'm reading that guy way out there, but I am. So now I'm just going to pitch it. <laughs> this game sometimes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, what happened in... I'll tell you what's gonna happen to Gabe Phil. And if you were watching this with the with the, with the if you was watching this with this coach, what the hell are you diving at, son? <laughs> DB coach is like, uh, did the sniper get you? <laughs> so triple option. We may be a running team a lot more because this guy can run, Jonah Johnson. So let's run it out of this. Triple option left, formation. Oh, we don't want dime. Nickel. Boom. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm safe. My, quarter, my, my head coach is on the hot seat a little bit. Okay. So same thing. We're just going to read. Work it. I'm going to attack him. So now I attack him. See, I make him make the make him commit. He's got to commit to me. <laughs> right? 
So now I got to make him commit. So now he takes my quarterback. Now I can pitch it. Now notice, I don't have to pitch it as long. Okay. Okay. So as long as he stays in pitch relation, I can still pitch it. Okay. When you're working with quarter running backs, when I coach running backs, we, we had to coach them on that. Don't leave just yet. Because you may get the ball. Notice the, where the ball's being pitched. We're 9, 10 yards downfield. Ball's being pitched. And that results in another 8 yards. Okay. Got to attack that pitch key. Make him make a decision. Okay. All right. And then we're going to run play action flood. And you guys are going to see if we can run that play and actually complete the pass. Because I'm curious if we're going to be able to play complete the pass on that. <laughs> but yes, any <laughs> uh, in film that's that guy's getting made fun of. Hey, the sage. Uh, I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be a real, real. We're gonna really have to really work. Okay, so play action. Okay, so one thing Downs can't do is get his butt whooped. That is just trash. Got his butt whooped. Couldn't even get off the line. That's a pick six. I don't think we have the speed to make this work. <laughs> Look at this. Should have thrown RB. Should have thrown RB. I have no time. They're just blitzing the crap out of me. There, finally, finally. <laughs> I, did, I have. <laughs> now you know why I'm like, this is going to be rough. Now you can throw that ball away. <laughs> there we go. I oh, it's sack, sack time, man. Okay, so we're not going to get a lot of yards out of this, but that's that's a good game, okay? So we're going to take advantage of that, okay? <laughs> my line's like 70. I told you. My offensive, my offense overall is like a 65. This is one of the worst teams in the game. So it's going to be a real challenge. But you know what? With it comes that, okay? So we're going to go ahead and go to spread now. Okay, so let's go to spread. Okay, we put in four verts, halfback sweep, halfback counter, wide cross, okay, and then corner strike. So notice we have shakers and then we have corner strike. Guess what they both are? They're both the same smash concept. So my quarterback technically wouldn't have to learn really much of new reading, okay? Right? Picks a side, looks at it, makes the read. Do you throw the shaker route or do you throw the flat route, okay? Let's go ahead here. We're just going to run a random play. We're just going to run random plays. Okay. We're going to go against a dime defense. Okay. It all happens, man. So first and foremost, we're going to run wide shallow cross. Okay. So I'm going to read the guy over downs. Looks like it's man. And downs drops the ball. Okay. <laughs> so one thing that you guys weren't here uh sage and king that you didn't hear was when i'm running stick if you notice muse okay muse has his guy about eight yards off and his route is kind of a quick breaking out we call that a gift okay if the gift is there we're going to take the gift okay if the gift's there take the gift so we're going to throw the quick out okay so, based on this, I'm going to look, and if this guy's playing off, I'm going to throw that and get myself a quick four yards. Okay? Easy. Easy just like that. If you've got the gift, you take the gift. That's the rule. All right? That's one of the easiest rules. Gift. Okay? Something I learned at one of my stops. If you've got the gift, take the gift. Okay? All right, so this play is basically an option route by downs. He can break inside, he can put he can hitch up, or he can break inside based on the defensive what the defense is doing. My read is downs one. 
then I've got Wyatt in the over, then I need to either hit Dan on the post or Samuel, which is my check down, okay? If they were all up tight, I could bomb it to Muse and take a shot. Again, I don't have a speedster, so I don't know if I could really do that. Okay, so we're going to drop back. One, two, three. Notice he's out, and my quarterback can't hit him. If my quarterback was more accurate, that's an easy catch, five yards right there, okay? So now we're going to run quick slants, all right? Quick slants. I just pick one side. This is not a great formation, great play against too high safety. So I'm going to switch it. I am going to run the ball. I'm going to switch to a five-man box. I'm going to run the ball. We'll run halfback sweep. If my left tackle can hook this end, we're we'll bounce to the outside. If he's just pushing him outside, then I'm going to cut up inside the left tackle. So we're going to run the play. Can he gets it, and Downs doesn't block his guy, and we get a two-yard loss. Awesome. So epic fail there. Okay, screen play. And we'll run that and just keep backing up and throw it. Okay, we're going to switch it because I don't think Downs can really block that well, guys. Okay, same rule applies. If our right tackle can hook, we'll stay to the outside. If he can't and the defensive end's head is to the outside of the tackle, we're going to cut up inside. So notice it's inside. Tackle stayed was onto the inside, so let's talk about that real quick. Hold on while it finishes so I can go back to instant replay for you. So notice while I run it, notice the end, I can't bounce that to the outside. Thanks, King. Saturday is when the game's actually going to be. I have a feeling the game's going to be on Saturday. We're going to do it just like a game day. Okay? I don't know if I'm going to stream more of this, but Saturday is probably when the game's going to be. I'm just doing the practice stuff right now. Just so you guys can kind of see. Thank you. Appreciate it. So if you see there, he's kicking him out. So I'm going to cut up inside it as the back. That's a good four to five yard gain on sweep. Okay. This is H shallow cross. We're going to read the guy over Wyatt. Over, uh, Wyatt. It looks like it's a blitz. I'm going to put my back out there. Put the ball in between them. Thanks, King. I may stream before then, but this game would be Saturday. We're going to play the game Saturday. Because Down's such a freaking liability as a blocker, let's see if I can pull this guy over here with the motion. Okay, do that. Boom. Same thing, staying outside. I'm going to hit the outside, inside of that. Boom. Okay, it's that simple. The head of the end stays inside the tackle. I'm going to go around. If the tackle stays, if the end stays the outside, the tackle's just working them out, I'm going to cut up inside. Okay, now this is our boot play. Read is Wyatt to Downs. Okay. If I got to get rid of it and I got, I see that Wyatt's open, I'm throwing to Wyatt. I may miss downs on a deeper route, but you got to live with it. It's one of the things that comes with coaching. I'm sure you understand that, Sage. Like, especially with basketball, sometimes there's a better shot that comes open. But if you've taught the players something, that if they got to take it, it's the same thing. Okay. So I'm going to boot it. And I miss my bat, my guy, but that's actually the right read. Okay. We'll take the four yard gain if we've got to. Because that's a part of it. So again, there we go. And I don't know where Downs is going. That's where Downs should be at. As you can tell, I have a lot to a lot of work to do. <laughs> okay, quick slant. This isn't a great formation, as you can see, against too high, because when they drop, there's not a lot of openings. And that's the part of the problem. So, normally I'm going to run to that. Safety's down. I know it's a blitz. I'll just get something. That's the tackle. That's the, that's the defensive tackle. <laughs> right? Right? Uh, they'll be like, hey, I can do that, coach. I can make that play. Okay. So, hey, let's do this. Let's go verticals. Okay. So, four verts against two high. I wish it had the option where if it's too high, why it would bend inside and, and attack it, but he doesn't. So let's see if I can even do it. That's how bad that is. That was a trying to bend it inside. Look at that. Get out of bounds. <laughs> right? It was a great pass to the defense. 
I have a feeling that we're going to be passing a lot of short passes and have to make some some misses or just we're going to grind out games this first year. And this guy may have to do a lot of it. In fact, let's do this. Let's switch up our quarterback. <laughs> this guy has a little bit more arm and accuracy. And if I have to, I may have to sacrifice the other guy. Boom. Balls out. Flat route. There are injuries. I have stamina. Like, my guys get tired faster. There's a lot of stuff, man. Like, I literally have it. Like, that guy's our best player right there on the offense. I'm Ari Samuels. Best player. By far. Okay, so we're going to read this guy. Blitz is on. Going to have to live with that. I may have missed him. So, here's the thing. Okay. And this is what I was talking about. I've talked about before. If you teach a quarterback, hey, there's a blitz on, and you see that the that the flat that your shallow route's open, and that's your first read, and you reach the end of your drop, one, two, three, four, three, should be three steps. I'm taking too many steps. One, two, three. And I decide I'm throwing to this guy. I gotta throw it to him. Could I have thrown to our dude Wyatt? Possibly, but again, I gotta just live with what I threw to. So we'll take it. Still get 10 yards. Okay. So so far. Weston's having a pretty good practice. Exactly. Like, especially with this, what I've got, I'm going to have to take with what i got. i got to take what I can get. But even then, even as we get better, if I've said, hey, you throw the flat route if it's open, and if it's not open, then you throw this. I can't get mad. So I'll give an example. I was coaching. Hey, exactly. When I was coaching, a, I helped coach a youth team, and I was coaching high school ball still. And I, had, and I was calling the plays for this youth team. And we were we had this kid. We were, it was an older youth team. It was like 13 years old kids. I said, I kept telling them, the same type of play, that wide crosses. If the flat's open, just throw it to him. Just throw it to him. Well, I called a play, and I told him to look for another receiver because I was like, it's going to be open. But in his brain, I had trained him so hard, he just threw the flat. And it was like, it's third and ten. This is a five-yard route. We're not going to get anything. Guy broke, the guy broke the tackle, runs for a 60-yard touchdown. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I've totally planned that play out. <laughs> but you got to live with what you got to live with. So right now I'm going to call a run play because it's a five-man box. And now you know why I'm kind of trying to spread them out so that I can do this. Except if Dow's would freaking block. Dow's, you suck <laughs> by blocking. <laughs> okay. I think this guy is our better crosser passer. Okay. Except he does that and sails that pass. That's the right read. That would have been a nice play. So backing up, we want to draw him in. Now we're going to throw the screen play. Okay, two-yard gain. It's better than nothing, right? Out of, a, out, of a, out of a blitz. Good cut. Everything right there. That's a beautiful play. If I can average seven, even five-yard rushing, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Okay, good ball. That's right on the money. That's what I want. Okay. All right, I got to make sure we run for counter so you guys can see counter. And because I haven't called counter yet. So I'm going to run counter. And actually, I want to run base. Now we'll run counter. Okay. Slap bubbles is set up. It tells you in the game if some play is set up. Oh, I got to remove H back direct. I hate that. I, I didn't like it. I put it in. To test it and didn't like it, so I'm gonna. That was a that was a beautiful ball, wasn't it? That was a heck of a ball. That's what I'm saying. It's down to those two. He's a better passer. Doesn't have as much speed as my other guy does. Okay. So here's the first thing. I'm running counter. I don't like counter to the right. Why do I not like counter to the right? Well, because my safety's down. He's kind of in the hole. Don't like it. So I'm just gonna hit flip the play. Right. Flip the play up. Now, look at that beautiful hole, right? Beautiful, okay? So, same thing here. If we're kicking the guy out, right, then I'm going to hit up right inside of him, okay? Love it. I'm loving it. I'm going to flip the play, okay? I may send downs on across, all the way across. Yeah, take that guy with you. Get him out of there. Now, it's me versus the safety, and uh, right now, 
we're not that great to make that guy miss. But you can kind of see here, I'm going to hit right up inside it, okay? It's a good game. If I get that kind of look, I am going to run the freaking ball. We'll pass when I have to, but I am going to pound the ball. Pound it. Okay, so those are basically, um, they might be. I don't know why they have the little stars for practice. I don't remember if they're the best. They might be. 70, 73. I thought my right tackle, yeah, my right tackle is supposed to be my best lineman. <laughs> I was like, but Johnson has more strength. Same with Taloya. My center actually has pretty good strength. My right tackle is the one that has 89. So let's take a look at their run blocking, shall we? Let's take a look at it. Where's my run block and pass block? Okay. He's an 82. Yeah. They're, they're, they're technically my two best they're supposed to be my two best players. Like, they have a better pass blocking than the other two. And run blocking. Who's the freaking O-line coach? Where's Coach Stu at? Need to get on his case. Sage. Coach Sage, we need to get on his case. Right? Right? Come on. Where the... Coach Stu, get over here. Why is it that Blake is getting his butt whooped every freaking time out there? Huh? What do you got to say for it? <laughs> I actually got yelled at. One of my stops, the head coach, like, right before fall camp, like, so just so you're aware, you're going to get yelled at by me. Like, hardcore. I'm going to rip into you in front of the players. Like, Coach Bigelow, Coach Biggie, why... Why are your tight ends sucking? They suck. What is wrong with your coaching? <laughs> he, said, he said, don't take personal offense to it. I'm just trying to see if they're going to fight for you on purpose. So that was uh, that was interesting. All right, so Weston's actually had a pretty decent practice, I think, throwing the ball. What do you think, Sage? Again, I, I have no no qualms about subbing in at Weston as quarterback. Like he's only he's only one point below, all right. His awareness is crap though. That's where I'm a little bit nervous. But his throwing is all better. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this is this is all being rectified with recruiting. I'm going recruiting tight ends. I have like three tight ends on the board, four tight ends on the board. I have no fullback. Oh, I put some fullbacks on the board, too. I would like to get a little bit more of a power run game out of the shotgun. But I don't. Okay. So let's do this. Hold on real quick. Let's go to technically what's our... Yeah. Yeah. So, the thing about it is, you know, we can keep adding plays to the playbook as we go along. Like, I don't have to sit there and just stay with certain plays and playbook. Like, I might, like you heard me say, I'm like, not liking it with our quarterback. In fact, you know what? Let's actually try him out on that play and split slot. See how he does in it. Because if he does better in it, then that's good for us. So, cross weak flood, which is actually Y cross. Okay, not normal. We want nickel, boom. Okay. <laughs> that's a good that's that's how that play is supposed to work right i look i don't like the flat now i'm gonna go to downs that's how it's supposed to look right i'm supposed to go to that guy and hit him ah wait weston's having a pretty good second day of practice First day, he didn't do so great. The second day, he started to hit some receivers, dude. Dow just got to make that catch. That's a tough catch, but he's got to make it. Itch. 
Dude, my right guard totally did not even give me a second to throw that ball. Uh, man, I say that Weston now misses like multiple receivers. It's okay. Bam. Take that. We'll take five yard gains. I will grind out wins all season long. And we missed it. Missed it. And I missed my RB. Alright. Stay outside of him. There we go. Boom. Okay. Alright, well, I think that's enough of that with those. So let's go ahead and go like we're going to day three. So those two now have the plays that I'm installing with that. We can add more plays to those formations if I want to. But for right now, we're not going to. We're going to add the next set, which is already in the playbook. I already added it. We're going to go trips with a halfback week. They call it trips halfback week. It's trips right, trips left, halfbacks on the opposite side. That is a good block by him. Uh, our outside block receivers can actually block pretty decent. It's downs that's our weakest, which really makes me nervous about leaving him out there. He's supposed to be one of my top receivers, but I, I don't know. I may switch him out for someone else because i got to have a guy who can block out there. So if you look at it, this is our trips, halfback week. And basically all it is is the back is away from the trips. Okay, This is called a 3 by one uh, When you talk to football coaches, they talk about 2 by 2 which is what spread is. Two receivers on one side of the ball, two receivers on the other side of the ball. This is three receivers on one side of the ball, one receiver on the side, other side of the ball. So 3x by 1, 3 by one Okay, So if you look at it, we're only going to get a dime defense because we're in 10. So we're going to have run zone read. We're going to run halfback counter. We're going to run halfback off tackle. And then halfback uh, inside zone, just straight dive. Not even a read. We're just going to run five on five and just dive it. Okay. Quick pass. We're going to have Y stick out of trips halfback weak. Then we're going to run uh, four verticals. Again, we're going to have four verticals, the Y cross, the wide receiver drive. Okay. Corner strike. So again, same thing. Same just same, same route. That's shaker route. Again, I've now got it in three formations. Quarterback doesn't have to think as much. He just already knows what his read is. Okay? I'm trying to make it simple. I want my quarterback not to have to think too much. Okay? Just I know what my read is. I'm going to make the play. Okay? And then levels. And I really love levels uh, as a great way to work a gift and get the ball out and work the sidelines. Okay? We have play action, which is read. And then we have three screens. We have the halfback screen. The middle screen, which is just a tunnel screen or jailbreak screen, and then the bubble screen. Okay, so let me go ahead and hide that. Let's call a new practice play, and we're just going to go straight into it. 10 personnel. Okay, as you've seen, I can only I'm limited, I'm only going to be able to go 20 and 10 personnel. This is the way it's going to be. So we'll just run a random play formation, dime. We'll just go normal to start off with. Random play by them, okay? So here's four verse. If you notice, Downs is working his way to the other hash. This is a great route to attack the middle. It's important that Wyatt stay on the outside of the hash and not bend inside. He cannot bend inside, okay? Because then he brings a defender into where we can throw the ball to, to Downs. We're going to take it. I'm going to throw it immediately to Downs to take advantage of the blitz. And notice that's a quick pass. Okay. Oh, I missed the back. I was throwing the back because they covered it. Okay. So now this is you saw I was running the Y shallow cross and X shallow cross out of spread. We're doing the same kind of concept. It's just from the same side. So Downs is going to run the di the dig, and Y it's going to run the underneath route. Okay. Backs out on the flare. Okay. I like that play. Boom. It's going to live with the gain. That we got. It's that simple, guys. It's that simple. There's now five in the box here. There's six in the box. I got five blockers. I'm not reading. Do I think I should run the ball? Yeah, I'm going to run this ball because I'm just going to punch it right there. Get three to four yards. Okay. We'll run the screenplay, backing up. And this is really important. So notice the block here. Guess who gets the block? The guy I've been besmirching the whole freaking time. That's not a good blocker. 
downs. Gets, gets enough of that corner right here that he cannot interfere with the screen play. Okay? It's important that my receivers stay behind the line of scrimmage like this so that the blocks can occur downfield and we can get some yards. <laughs> so the guy I've been besmirching, been like, he sucks as a blocker, of course makes that block. Of course. Holy crap. Okay, so this is white cross, okay, with flood concept on the back side. Reed is again Y, Samuels. He's going to either hitch or work out. I've got the over route with A, <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> Wide receiver meeting. Coach Sage, I want you to compliment uh, Downs for that block. Tell him, Coach Bigelow said you're not a piece of turd. <laughs> Coach Bigelow's saying you're not a you're not a turd monkey. <laughs> turd. You're not a, that's not what I mean. You're not an idiot. You're not a bad player. You're not just a dude. You're a blocker now. <laughs> that is not what I meant, unfortunately. All right. So here we go. I don't like it, so I'm going to throw the check down. Who drops it? I motivated him to step up, okay? I don't like, I don't like the, the counter against that front. Why? Because we've got a guy to the back side where I'm going to run the counter. Counter. That's not a great read by me. Don't like it because I went to the back side a little too late. Okay? Holy crap. Sage, tell Downs that's a heck of a catch. <laughs> I'm really proud of him for that catch. He's starting to be a dude a little bit. Starting to be a little bit of a dude. Okay. Going to throw the bubble screen. That's not great against that front because there's man coverage. Probably should have worked to the single receiver. Now, with this, I can run zone read. Except I get blocked. And we our tackle, left tackle, doesn't get out to where he should be going. Downs is your new favorite. Can't have favorites, Coach Sage. You're the, you're the wide receiver coach. Oh, dude. Weston, that's a terrible pass. Who coaches Weston? That Coach Biggin. Is that you who coaches him? Good grief. Coach, coach him up. Tell him he's, he's stop being a turd. Okay, so that's a great play right there. They come on a blitz. No one covers the over route. Easy money. If we can do that, I'll be happy as well. Okay, Weston with a nice gain. Run stick again, okay. First read is downs, okay. Really, we're reading the guy that's over Wyatt. If he goes with downs, we're gonna throw to Wyatt. If he goes with Wyatt, we're gonna throw to downs. Holy crap, that's a bad pass. Oh, trying to throw the out back. Yeah, this quarterback's only a 67, so he's not as fast, but. Oh, that had a little bit of a chance. But I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of speed to have some more accuracy with the passing game. Okay. There's the stick. Boom. If I can complete those passes, I think we'll be in good shape. Oh, that was, that was actually a pretty good route. Just a good play by that backer. Holy crap. He is a better thrower, you know, right? Like, I think I need to sacrifice a little bit of it. Dude, Downs might have a big season. Downs is catching a lot of passes. He may, he can't block for squat, but he can catch the ball. <laughs> oh, look at that. Over, over that. Oh. Uh. Holy crap, Downs. Holy crap, Downs. Look who made another block. Not a great block, but it's enough of a block to slow that guy down to get 10 yards. A, that, that, he's starting to become a dude. Okay. My right, my right side of my line is bad. And they're supposed to be my strong point, huh? All right, so this is levels. Okay, so notice, I'm going to throw. If I ever get this in a game, I'm throwing it to Dan. 100% of the time, basically. 
I'm going to tell you right now. If my quarterback ain't throwing it to Dan, yeah, it, no, it's when I coached, he didn't need to make a, you know, players sometimes want to make like these knockout blocks because that's what they see on TV. I'm like, dude, dude, you don't have to make a knockout block. Okay, you just have to get in front of him. My whole line is technically bad, Sage. But we'll live with him. It's what I got. It's what I go to battle with what I got, right? But when I was coaching, I would be like, you don't have to knock him out. But if you just get in the way where he has to go around you, that's enough of a block that he gives us an extra couple yards or he's not going to make the tackle. You don't have to have a knockout block. So really, my read here is it's just attacking the flats with an over route. Okay? It's very similar to drive. And to H shallow and Y shallow cross. X, I'm going to throw the ball most of the time. Y. Because he's so far off, I should be able to complete this pass. No one's going to the flats. And I can't complete the pass because that's a bad pass. Awesome. We'll run outside zone, cut up field. Ding. Nice play right there. Right? I see the blitz coming. I'm not going to run bubble screen. Downs is catching the ball. That was a heck of a catch, Downs. Ah, not a good play. Stop staying on the ball. That's the right area. <laughs> Oh, this is the problem when you have no speed to get out on the field, huh? <laughs> that is my fastest player on offense right there. O'Malley Samuel. Good grief, guys. Downs, 20-yard gain. Dude, who is this guy? Downs and Samuels may have to be the dudes. And we don't even pick up the blitzing backer. Okay, let's see if I can hit this. I am not the defensive coordinator. I can't do any defense practice, Fluffbuck. I am straight offensive coordinator. That's why I'm saying I got to protect my defensive coach, guys. I am a straight up only the offensive coordinator. That's what I'm hired as. I'm not the head coach, so I'm not going to be able to. Until I'm the head coach, I can't run anything but the offense. So that's what I'm. That's why we're running this stuff. Good catch. Look at that. Look at that guy. Who is that guy? Sage, who is that? Who coaches that guy? Who coaches that guy, Sage? Is that you? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, again, they're off. If this guy does not come, if they don't go to the flats underneath Dan, Dan should get the ball here. And we <laughs> Right? Downs. Look at this block by Downs up here. That's a good enough block, man. Look at this block by Downs. I just got done ripping that guy up and down that he couldn't block. And he goes out here and he hits this guy. That's a block. Now, we never got to him, but if I was able to get to him, that's a that's a big block. That's actually not a bad block by him. Right there. What did you tell him in in the meeting, Sage, to make him become a become a dude? Did you say, I love you? Don't worry about Coach Bigian. Guy's a jackass. Just screaming at you about that you can't block. Why don't you go tell him all? Show him. Look at this. There's Downs again. Downs. Downs is going to have a heck of a season, I have a feeling. And he gets to be the ball. ball. Oh, look at that stiff arm. That's a 14-yard that's a gain on the screen. Downs is a man. Look at that block. Nice block by Wyatt. <laughs> so this is this is that offense. Okay. 
We got to put in Jonah. We got to practice with Jonah. <laughs> I didn't hear that. I didn't. I heard none of that. I didn't hear any of that. Okay. All right. We're going to sub in Jonah Johnson now. Jonah's turn. All right, Jonah. Weston had is having a pretty good practice. You're going to have to up your game, son. So now, I don't like this. I'm not going to throw it towards Dan because the corner's up. But I'm going to work my right side, working the shallow stuff. So let's just see if we can get a completion. Nope. His his completion, his pass actually is going to be a part of the problem. Okay, we'll do the check down, take the four-yard gain. All right. I love screens into the boundary from a three by one. And here's why. And I'm going to show you this is a perfect illustration of why I don't like it running in the middle of the field. In my, in my opinion, I would run it on the hash. My linemen are not super fast. Look how much further they've got to go. And this guy's got wider to go. If we were condensed into this, they have a better chance of getting this guy. I coached O-line. I'm telling you right now, it's a lot easier for them to get to that guy if there's less space for that guy to run around. Okay? That's why I like it in the boundary. We were never going to get that dude. We're going to run a uh, stick. Downs is going to be like an All-American receiver for us. All-conference. We're independent, but who cares? He's going to be all, all dude. Okay. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Man's having like a career practice. All, all American practice player. Okay. He caught that ball. He caught that ball. That's a catch. <laughs> what year is he? He is like a junior, I think. What year is Downs? See, technically I have a fullback, but they're all 40. I'm not going to put him out there. He's a senior. All my, all my receivers are seniors. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, you know, it's what we got. We're going to have to deal with it. Okay, so, now why did I throw the throw away from the stick route okay they rotate it notice they've gone from too high to one high a slant arrow combination that Dan and Samuels are running is great against a one high safety look oh I've got I've got receivers on the recruit board too and I've redshirted like two or three receivers as well that are like freshmen okay so a slant arrow that Dan's and the back are running are perfect against a one high look. So safety rotation to one high tells me to throw to either the to either to Dan. No one runs with my back. So we'll throw it to the back, get a nice eight yard gain. It's a good start, right? If we were running a drive, starting a drive, that's a good start. Okay, we'll run outside zone. Holy cow, that ball was a bad ball and got caught. Nice catch, Wyatt. Missed him. For those of you who don't know why I'm like, whew, I'm at five with computer help with passing. With this passing accuracy, I may have to up it to ten. But that's my throwing accuracy. <laughs> oh. Holy cow, man. Yikes. Oh, my goodness. Yikes. Maybe we put in a package. The young blood, you mean Weston? I think Weston. Yeah, the freshman redshirt has won today. Overall, he has a better chance at growing into a, into, a, into a really good player by the time he's a senior. He's a junior. Samuel's a, a junior. 
Whoa. Whoa. Jonah Johnson's having a rough time plassing. Ugh. Yep, Weston, Weston Eggett had a good practice, I'd say. Okay. Get it through there, Samuel. Thing is, John Johnson's camera. How do you improve? Uh, they make plays in the game, and then, honestly, um, in fact, let's do this. Let's reset the ball. Let's respot the ball. This is when I would normally run three by one, is in this situation. Um, you can do it through a variety of ways. You can have great games, and then at the end of the year with the recruiting during spring, technically spring, they get better year to year. Missed them. Yeah, they'll get XP. So now you can kind of see why I like running it in to the boundary here. Notice, you can get to that corner a lot easier because why? I've now cut that space basically in half. See, now Jonah Johnson's a little bit better runner, which helps him. Threw it behind him. Threw it behind him. They're rotating to one high. Uh, two yard gains better than nothing, right? What do we say, Sage? How many picks is that for him today? How many picks is that today? Okay, we're gonna work this. Ah. Right. That's what I'm thinking, Sage. We may have to have a run package, something like, like you know, let him. We're running the ball here. That backer's so far back there. <laughs> Got an audible to a run play. Okay, so remember, I said I like running it into the boundary. A lot easier to get to that safe to that corner and that safety because they don't have as much room to get away from my from my big old my big hog mollies. Yeah, he he's just I don't he can be so inaccurate from time to time. Like that's fairly accurate. I'm thinking, honestly, here's where I'm thinking the package might be. It might be split slot. Anything that's two back, I think, works for him. Let's go take a look. Let's see how he does with this package. Because I think this package fits better with him. Because there's a lot more where you can run the ball, things like that. And then we just got to have little dump offs and stuff like that. And he can just dump the ball off to the back, like five, six yards. That's not who I threw the ball to, guys. I threw it to A. That's how bad his accuracy is on the run. I actually accidentally hit A. And he threw it to Price. <laughs> I was throwing it. I was throwing it to Downs. But yeah, he's great to run the option with. Oh, except for that. I really, I biffed that one up. That's on me. That's on the, that's on the, the OC controller, dude. Screwed that all up. See why I like the screen into the boundary. A lot easier for my big, my big boys to get to those guys. Just so much easier. All right, we're going to run triple option into a freaking storm. This one, he cannot. Ah. 
Okay, we're gonna get four yards. You can get me four or five yards every pass play. Bang. Bang biscuit. Okay, so we're gonna attack him. Nope. He's not gonna do it. Where are you going, Downs? Okay, Downs, I just gave you a bunch of compliments about your blocking and making plays. And then you Whoa, pick one. Either one of them's the right one in that situation. Come on, Downs. Come on. See, and then the then he just throws like that. I, I think if he's not under pressure, he's a lot better accuracy wise. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. You know, guys, usually you want to block the dude that's right there in front of you. Miss the, miss the back. We're going to run slant arrow. We're going to run slants here. And that's ugly. That was about as ugly as it can be. Yeah, see, look, he can get me a good 10 yards. Oh, we're, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving until I get New Mexico State. Like, to be, like, bowl eligible every year. I am going to build a winner here. Okay. And he just got killed. He killed him. <laughs> See, if you hit that corner, that shaker's play right on that shaker route, it's like almost impossible to stop. It is almost impossible to stop. So I think this one is for is for for Johnson is a great package, and I might run it out of pistol, something like it out of pistol too. But man. Look at Downs. Downs is just like going in the middle. Going to take those hits. Thinking I like. Weston had a good, better game, better practice with the spread stuff and the trips. Okay. Any questions on anything, guys? Like I said, this, we're just having some fun. Let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and quit practice. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to recruiting. I haven't done any recruiting yet. Done none of it for the week. Okay. I just love how it says Jan, a pair of cellar dwellers. I just think that's my favorite part of this whole thing. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at my dudes. I got a lead on a three-star tight end who's a blocking tight end. Look at all my bonuses. Here's my bonus. Playing time, proximity to home. Conference prestige is D minus. I have no conference prestige. I can offer scholarship to him. I need to scout better, okay? He's actually gone up by two. Oh, okay. So you have to understand, like, I'd like, to, I was originally going to run tight ends in this offense. I was going to run 11 personnel. And then I found out that I only have receivers. So I'm like, well, I got to adjust it to 10. Tight ends allow me to put them in the backfield and act like fullbacks. And we can run zone read lead with, like, with Jonah Johnson, I could run zone lead read with that guy. And then quick passes with him doing some stuff. But for right now, we're going to play with what we got, which is the two back, which is the backs and the receivers. Unfortunately, that's what we're going to have to do. So, blocking, he's balanced. The blocking tight end. Um, that corner is 74 overall. Let's see here. What's his top school? How did we get on that guy's board at all, guys? At all? We on this guy's board? Barely. 
That's a four star. I, I'm not going to get a four star. I'm going to tell you right now. If I got four stars, I'd probably have a heart attack. But, <gasps> so let's take a look. I have no quarterbacks. I got three fullbacks. Okay. Both two blocking and one receiving. He's minus two. He's breaking even. He's overall 69. Ball carrying vision. He's actually gone up. But he's my weakest one on the stuff. Besides this dude. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to scout. I got to scout. Yeah. Scout. Nope. Impact blocking, catching traffic. This guy's a better player. I'm going to have to put some points into him. Let's see what I got. He's not expressed interest in me. He's proximity to home and playing time. Like A+, plus automatically. I think I might offer this dude. I'm going to offer him. Scholarship has been offered to him. I need a fullback. If anything, just to be a receiving fullback. I like to run a 21 personnel type set that has a fullback leading. Okay, so let's see what this guy's story is. He's from Texas, Pipeline State. We got some bonuses. Ugh. <laughs> guys, I don't know. Okay. I really need to get better recruiting numbers. Uh, my head coach doesn't have great recruiting numbers, like percentage thing. There's a way to increase your to get better recruiting, and we just don't have it right now. This guy I think is going to be a bust. His acceleration isn't very good. He's a top dude. He's a three star, but I don't think he's going to be very good for us. His speed is a 91, though. Oh, my God. That's the kind of stuff I need. <laughs> oh, dude. Killing me here. You are killing me here. So, notice his stuff. Number one team is Army. Pro potential is a C minus. He's from Ohio. He has us third on his list. His speed is atrocious, though. What size is he? He's only six foot one eight. Uh, okay. I don't know. I do not know. Let's see here. No, I don't want to. Re re I did not want to offer that scholarship. Son of a bee. Can I remove the scholarship? <laughs> I don't want that scholarship offer. Unbelievable. Hit the wrong button, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's go tight end. Notice I'm also bringing in tackles and guards, Sage. I already am trying to address my line issues. I gotta have a good line. <laughs> I know. Offensive line really is important though. Let's see what this guy can give me. His run block is not spectacular though. But if he can be a receiver, he's a blocking tight end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're leaning on this guy right here. His speed is 72, which is not great for a tight end coming in, but it's also about the same speed as I have for a freaking receiver that I got right now, guys. Let's scout him. Impact blocking, 70. Okay, top schools. Yeah, I got a bunch of dudes that are interested in me. I just got to find out what their speed is. 
Well, if we got blockers, we can put in that package. That's not a bad thing. All right. This guy, all two star. Two, three star, one star. I don't want the one star. Look at this guy. He's a 50. How is this guy a two star? 57 overall. Let's scout him. Yeah, he's, he's what I. He is who I thought he was. Ugh. Dude. Well, he's got better strength. That's not what I like. I don't like any of that. So I've limited myself to whoever has been on my whoever had me in their interest. So, so I've really made this tough on me. Really made this tough on me. Why did I just offer a freaking scholarship to the guard? Removing his butt. Move that prospect. Eat out of here. <laughs> Scout this dude. Yeah, this is the guy I'm going to offer a scholarship to. Run block. Yeah, offer to that guy. I'm going to tell you right now. He's already going up. By the time he's be a senior, he'll be a he'll be, crap. My dudes are like at seventy right now, and some of them are sophomores. So we'll be okay. We'll be okay. We're just gonna have to put some points into some stuff. Okay, defensive end. All people that I'm in the top that I'm in competition for. Let's see here. I, have, I I'm gonna build up the defense too. I'm not just gonna build up the offense, guys. Don't need that guy. Don't want that guy. What are my needs? Free safety. I don't need much, but I'm still going to recruit as though I do. Okay? So, this guy's a 61. This guy's a 65. Where are we at on the board on these guys? In the lead. In the lead. So, those two we're going to recruit. Defensive tackle. Not leading. Second. Let's see here. Agility sucks. Block shame is not very good either. Let's see what we got with this dude. We may, we may try to go for this guy. We may try to go for him. Just to see what he's what, what we can get from him. Everything. <laughs> Offer the scholarship. Can't believe I accidentally offered a freaking scholarship. Well, this guy's a 68, which would be great. Let's see where he is on the board on me. I'm second behind Idaho. Yeah, I think I'm going to offer that guy. Let's see what we got. Eh. Don't need that guy. Let's go ahead and offer him a scholarship, shall we? Playing time. Gonna get some playing time. Yeah, see, look at this. I'm not even really on these guys' boards. I'm behind by 700 points. I'd have to pour enormous resources into them, guys, to even have a chance. I'm not even gonna waste my time. I am not gonna waste points on those dudes. Uh, some of you may disagree with me, but when you've got limited amounts of points to use and you're trying to build up your team, I'm just not going to do it. Um, got to use, got to be smart with what we can do, okay? The safety, we're in the lead on him, so I think I like him for that. Same with this dude. Where am I at on this guy's board? Okay. Let's see. 86. So he's got better speed, but I don't know if he's, he's not a good man coverage. His coverage sucks. Where's we at on this guy? We're second. He's a 66. Let's offer him. This is the number 15 side of safety. Yeah, he's, he's just, he's a cover safety that sucks at covering. You see that? I'm a cover safety that can't cover in man coverage.
Alright. Makes total sense. Let's offer this dude. We're gonna go for that. Okay, let's take a look at the strong safety. Oh, the athlete. I wanna look at the athlete. Um. Ooh. 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 What's his, what is his size? He's a six foot six. You know who could be our tight end? That guy. That guy right there. That guy. We may have to put some points in. We're offering him. We're going to offer that dude a scholarship. Right now. All right, who hasn't been scouted? None of those guys. That guy. No. No. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Uh, we'll, we'll scout. We'll scout this guy. Yeah. No. Nope. 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 No. 68 in zone coverage. So let's offer this guy. We'll offer him. Okay. Who have we offered scholarships to? No scholarships. Okay. So let's see here. So here's the strengths of my team, just so you guys are aware. Television exposure, D minus. Program position, D minus. Stadium atmosphere, D minus. Championship contender, D minus. So really, it's going to be called upon with this team to really kind of start. This this first year, this team is going to have to build, build it. They're just going to have to build it. Okay. Okay, who do I want to offer? So I've offered a scholarship to this guy. Let's get some points in there on him. Let's go 400 points. Excuse me, there's a humidifier coming on, so apologies to all of you. This guy has gone down. I'm right behind. I'm gonna kinda hold off on this guy, that guy. I'm gonna offer him a scholarship. See if we can see if we can kinda sneak in. Up a little bit. I just wanna kinda sneak up a little bit, see if we can help ourselves out. Okay, so let's go ahead here. Let's go to wide receiver. All right. We got the lead on this guy. What's his speed at? He's a 64. Who's the guy that's got some speed to him? I don't know if I know who's got the speed to him. Oh! Catching's awful though. He's fast, but he can't catch the freaking ball. His acceleration isn't great either. I'm going to hold off on offering this dude for right now. But I think I'm going to offer this dude. Any type of three star can help me out. I, I know, but but here's the problem, Sage. Look, like, look at it. He's fast, but his acceleration is 70. Look at his catching. It's a 57. 57. If you can't catch the ball, like I wanna, I, I need to, we need to take a look and see some more before I offer this guy. Cause I wanna, I, so frustrating. Like, oh. Uh, see like this guy has a spectacular catch. So, I wonder what his catching is, because apparently he has the same type of catching, but I've offered him. His speed is awful. Not going to offer him. Not going to offer him. I already offered him. 
For whatever reason. <laughs> he would be a great, great trackster. He would be great as like a, as a decoy out there. Hey, look, watch out for this fast guy. But honestly, yeah, like I'm looking at him and I'm like, how can he help my team out? I just don't see it. If that makes sense. I just don't see it. So let's take, we'll wait. We'll wait and see what else he can do. I could put him on jet sweep and then that becomes real old. Jet sweep and play action with him in the game. Okay. See, this guy's even got better acceleration than the speedster does. <laughs> Dude, this guy's getting offered. Marcus Kramer's going to get offered. I'm offering him, and I'm going to put some points into it. And I may adjust based on how the first game goes. So, like, this guy's got 72 speed. Two speed. See the difficulty when it comes to recruiting because you got to like make your choices on what can they help us with and do they really help us or not, right? So is he help? Are they going to help us like? That guy's 6'7", 243, but he's a big receiving tight end, but is he really going to help me? We'll offer him. Right now, I'm not going to offer him. I want to see what he's got. But I'll put, a, I'll put 100 in there, just for the heck of it. Put 150. Yeah, my, I need my coach to have, like, some actual... Dude, this guy, this guy's a, yeah. That guy might be better than a 58 overall. Offer him a scholarship. Not spectacular, but we'll put a hundred in. Just to kind of keep our, our 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 bonus and points in there. Guard already offered, so let's put 150 in here. Okay, he can actually run block. He's a 75, so we'll be good. Okay, defensive ends leading and. Uh, Strength, play recognition, 65. We're already leading. So we'll offer him a scholarship. And we'll increase to 150 here. Okay. Uh, defensive tackle. Strength is 74. That's actually not too shabby. And Let's uh, offer Daryl Clark. He's already offered. We gotta put some points into him. So we'll put about 200. I just gotta keep up near the top. And as we go along, I'll, I'll, I'll run the prize plays. I'll run him over and in. So we've offered this dude. He's fairly decent at man coverage. Let's... Uh, Let's do this. 150 with this guy. Okay. Nothing for these cornerbacks. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna offer. I'm not gonna waste my time, guys. That's, see why I can't do that? That's 700. I'm 700 below. That's a waste. That's 1,400 points that I would, I would have used up that I can't use for others. Where I can try and build some extra stuff. Oh, I'll tell you guys, this is gonna be rough. Gonna take, it's going to take like four or five years to build this bad boy up. Will I still be at New Mexico State in four to five years? That's the question. Remember, I could get offered a new job.
Remember that. Press coverage. He's pretty good. It's on YouTube. I'm streaming this as well to YouTube right now. This whole thing is on YouTube. But I may put the games, like cuts of the game on it and stuff. But yeah, everything's on YouTube. This is going, this is being put on YouTube like right now as well. So, like, if you type in I think it's what's the command what is the command it's YouTube I think yeah see there's the YouTube so it's it's uh there's the channel for it right there but yeah I decided to do that because I was like hey you know what so like this see look at this dude this dude's acceleration is even better than the than the speed receiver he's 85 that's the kind of guy that can get in and out of breaks Kenny freaking make moves maybe not but you know what at least he can get to you thank you sage i appreciate the sub so you know i'm just well and here's the thing i want to kind of give people a chance to see the mind of coaches because I, I, the way coaches have to think like you have to give and take like i'd love to get those two four or five Yes, this guy can fly. I think he's going to be a big play for you. <laughs> See, there's the pop-up. The Sage just subbed on YouTube. Popping it up. There we go. Nice. So, I'd love to have those two four-star corners. Because I guarantee you they'd be better than anything we got right now. But am I going to waste my time trying to recruit them? Or am I going to try and build with, better, with other players that can help us and help us build it up? And then eventually, we're not going to be like, I'm going to go get those four stars because I'm first on the board for them. Right now, when I'm 700 points below, I'm not going to waste time on that. I'm just, it, I, and I wish I could. I honestly wish I could. Because, yeah, this guy, he's definitely a target. I'm going for him. I am definitely going to go for this guy. But the reason I want to give, I, I do, you know, with the practice, like, this is what the read should be. That's how I coach it. Now, some people might not coach it that way. But I just want to kind of give people the idea of how play breaks down and what the read should be and things like that. So I think Saturday we're going to play this game, play the actual game, have it be like a whole festivity, like, it's game day, baby. Woo! <laughs> we win. We play the fight song at the, end of the, at the end of the game. I think we have a good chance against Texas State. If I can run the ball. I think we'll have a good chance. It's going to be really important and key. Here's the thing. I know I'm going to get nickel and dime defenses based on the, on the formations I'm running. Okay? I just know I, that I just know it because of my formations that I'm running that that's the kind of front I'm going to get. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. That's what I'm going to get. This guy's actually pretty good at zone coverage. He's a better overall player. I wish there was a diamond in the rough, but can't tell that. Scholarship's been offered. So let's go put some more points on. Let's put about 200. So, as you can see there, that's my targeted board. That's how I'm going to do it. Career, okay? Don't have to do it the way I do it. That's my own strategy. The way I want to do it is that way because if I don't, if I don't do it that way, um, you know, it just, it's just what I want to do. Well, so here's the deal. So let me show you something. So, and this is part of the problem with the, with my coach technically recruiting wise doesn't have enough points. And I guess I could undo it and reset the coach. Maybe I should take a look and see if I can do that. So if you select the tree, we can get into a locked out re recruit. I would prefer Ah, uh, see I can't take I can't do this. If we can get the head coach some points. Notice how great that can make it. 25% instead of 10% right now. So each time it's 20 10%. 
If I was 25, in four weeks I know what they are. And you can level it up three times, so I think you can get like 75% to 100% improvement. Like, so when you're scouting and this initial scout, so when I'm back here going, hey, let's scout. So notice, like, oh, oh, notice right now with scouting in this game, if you look at it, we've only scouted 20% of the players. Right, when we've scouted any of them that we've scouted. Notice it says scouting, 20% scouted. If we had points in the gem section, one to, to today, that's two guys. That's just to give you the idea. I've scouted this guy twice now, and I've gotten 20%. I would be at 50% if we had even one in that gem location. <laughs> You can also have it so that you get more points at the start of the recruiting season so you can spend more points. That's why I'm saying this is going to be a little bit of a rough season because we got to build this all up. By next season, if we can get five to six wins, get to a bowl game even, it'll be a totally different recruiting board. We'll have players that we wouldn't have a chance with this year saying, hey, I want to be with you guys. We will be able to have points that allow us to scout better. We just got to get through this year. It's going to be rough. But I have confidence that we can get it done. I'm really excited for this. And I'm excited to bring you guys along with it. Especially to, you know, have fun with this whole thing. But yeah, that's, that's where I wish that we had the stupid diamond in the rough being able to search it. You know, I've seen a guy be a gem that was like a 60 and all of a sudden he's like a 72. And I was like, are you kidding me? How does that happen? But yeah, so this is this is where I wish we got to. So if we get some points and get it so that the head coach upgrades, we're immediately going to recruiting. We got to recruit, okay? We have got to make sure we recruit. And then you know, send the kitchen sink, things like that. We can get people to insta commit, all that stuff. And there's mine. So notice I put increased two in, plus two to injury and ten percent increase in stamina for game so my guys will not get tired as fast and they have less chance of getting injured I'm gonna be honest with you as well I've kind of mentioned it you said it we're gonna go really really slow we're gonna milk the clock I am not a milk the clock kind of mindset guy so this is gonna be really tough for me I want to go fast I want to go up tempo but I also am a realist and realizing my team will never survive and my defense will never survive if I'm like yeah let's go fast so we go three and out if I can make it, you know, milk that clock, do, 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 do. keep my defense off the field as much as possible, I think we'll have a good chance. Again, we may win some games 21 to 20. And that's all I'm going to do. All right, so that's recruiting. That's day two, day three install. Um, let me show you. Okay, playbook. Okay. Next, next time we'll do day four, and then probably play a game. Probably play Texas State. So it'll be Saturday when we do this again. Okay, when we meet again for the streaming of NCAA football. Okay, and we're gonna add some more formations. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add pistol. And I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek, pistol. Guess what we're adding? We're going to add pistol spread. And pistol. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We could add pistol trips. Tray open, whatever it is. See, I have no tight ends. <laughs> pistol trips, four receivers. But we'll use that. We'll have strong slot. So we'll use 20 and 10 again. And it'll be like same types of plays, just out of the pistol formation. And the reason being, I just want to have similar plays so my brain, and my quarterback's brain, doesn't have to sit there and do all that. And maybe I'll show you guys the play call sheet. I'm thinking of having an actual play call sheet, just a pretend play call sheet, being like, oh, third and two, let's run this play. <laughs> so you guys can kind of see, maybe I'll post them, an image of a sample play call sheet. So you guys can kind of see what coaches have when they're looking on the board or looking, at, looking up in the box or on the field. Unlike Mike Leach, it has his little piece of paper that he writes everything down. 
Well, I appreciate everybody who stopped by again. If you stop by for a game, I apologize. For this week, we're not going to be playing a game. We're just putting in the offense, treating it just like an actual coaching staff does. You know, just putting it all in, building on it. Uh, so today we put in some more plays, put in a three by one formation. We're going to put in some more. Saturday, we're going to do day four. We're going to add uh, a couple things, probably a couple more formations, and then go play our game against Texas State, which, as you can see, is a cellar dweller just like us. That's why you're seeing the yawn. Not a real exciting game, as you can tell. We're a D-plus team. But we're going to go beat those freaking Texas State Bobcats. I think they're the Bobcats. We're going to go beat those guys. All right? We're going to go kick their butts and win this game. Okay? There's our schedule. All right? Okay, everybody. So Saturday, we're going to treat it just like it's a regular game week. Hope you guys are here to celebrate, have a little bit of fun with the game, because you know what? Why not? We're just going to treat it like it's an actual fall uh, Saturday, and it's game day, baby. We'll call it game day. I'm, I'm going to have the headset on, just like I'm, in a boat, like I'm in the booth, calling the plays down to the field. All right? All right, everybody. We'll see you on the next Big In Show. Stay for the end credits. If you haven't had a chance to, hit that follow button if you want to participate in this. Uh, as we go along, I'll start adding people as well if they want to be recruits. For this year, I didn't, but coming up, coming soon, we'll start adding people probably next year. I'm not going to make you guys overwhelming greats, maybe. I might make you average to start off as recruits. We'll see how I feel. We'll see how the community feels. If you want me to change some things about this stream, let me know. I appreciate it. Grizzbear, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. We are, so we'll see you on Saturday for game day. At, we're going to treat it, like I said, game day, baby. It's going to be game day. We're going to play Texas State. We're going to go win a game, go 1-0 on our quest to build New Mexico State into a national powerhouse. All right, we'll see you, and stay for the end credits. All right, guys, have a good Dun 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 d